In Isizulu, Saubona means hello, but it literally means I see you. We can also be described as I recognize you. So this is something we teach to our students so that they see that there is a need for people to learn other people's languages because it's one of the most basic ways of saying I recognize you. If one individual can speak another individual's language, uh, it's much better to firstly communicate with that individual, but secondly, it's also much better to understand the culture of the other individual. The more languages we have functioning in our education spaces, the more knowledge we will produce, the better quality knowledge we will produce. Hundreds of different languages are represented in this university, but students are expected thus far to function only in a couple or so of them. Now, what would happen if we enabled students and en enabled staff to use the languages that they already know to come to bear in the process of producing knowledge in the university? I think we will be able to do so much more. You might have noticed uh, some visible changes around the university. For instance, uh, the signage of our new entrances being in more than one language. We currently in a transition between phase two and phase three of the language policy. We have introduced uh, language classes through Wits Language School, where we encouraged staff to participate to be able to increase their competency skills. We have now formally introduced a language, African language requirement in, in some programs, notably in the Bachelor of Arts program, uh, in uh, the engineering programs, as well as in the health sciences programs. While I was learning Sisutu this year, um, I found that it was quite enjoyable to be able to be in a classroom setting with um, native speakers and non-native speakers. I found that lots of the, the lectures were, were filled with laughter and, and with jokes, but at the same time with students helping out each other. What excites me most about the language policy is that slowly I can see that people are changing and wanting to move with it and seeing the relevance of the language policy and how good it will be for everybody concerned. And I'm particularly excited about um, the move towards multilingual teaching. In the long term, we hope to get to a situation where students who are able to use an African language can use it to write an essay, can use it to write a thesis. In a work environment, you, you need to be able to speak other languages because everybody is speaking a range of different languages. And you'll, you will be able to work much more collaboratively and productively if you can accommodate each other. For a university like WITS, which wants to promote multiculturalism, multilingualism and diversity, it's important to build the building blocks, to have the building blocks uh, of diversity, which finds itself within language, and language is a key component of the culture. <laughs>